Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, John McCycle here, another episode of Rise of Nations. Oh, an interesting request this go round. I've gotten a 4 on 4 deathmatch, which I'm going to set up right here. Uh, that's a good... African watering hole is a good one, let's do that. We're going to go full 4 on 4, let's say, that means we need not a small map, let's go huge, as recommended. Uh, let's see here, custom teams... through a bunch here while well, I'm trying to think of how I want to present this matchup. So, uh, four versus four, custom teams. We have it set up on huge, game speed normal. This might all seem pretty standard as to the way I've played before, but the one caveat is we're going to do a no rush. Now, what this does is attacking is absolutely not allowed until at least one player reaches the gunpowder age. Now, I think we could probably do... Custom, let's see here. Uh, it does not say. I was hoping we could customize the no rush rule. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Peace until gunpowder age. That's what I was hoping to change. But that's fine by me. So, this is going to be interesting. We're going to have to totally emphasize on economics immediately. Um, what is... I never figured this out. AI computer share control of your nation with you. Oh, no thanks. Um, so this is an interesting idea to the no rush. If you ever play with any other human players, there might be a timer of like 10 or 15 minutes or something like that. But this is going to add an interesting kick to it. So um, we're going to play as my favorite nation, the Greeks. Um, I do like having all the extra knowledge that they provide with their library. So this is going to be very quick... Heavy economics. I don't need the tips. Thank you very much. Uh, where is our... There you are. Go. Scroll out a little bit here. Okay. So yeah, as I was saying, want to capitalize on resources as quickly as we can, making sure that we are either the first or we are close to the first to the gunpowder age. Now the important thing here is we might not want to reach the gunpowder age at all. Um, what we might want to do is we might want to prepare for the gunpowder age, meaning load up troops, build a... Oh, wow, we have a ton of resources. I did not realize we were sitting on that much stuff. Okay. Wow, okay, this is going to be interesting, certainly. Okay, well, I guess had I known we would get all this stuff so quickly, I might have changed my choice from the Greeks, but I'm happy with it. Of course, they're already into the Classical Age. Get another city immediately. Let's go somewhere close. Let's go right there. They can all have the Classical Age, which I think we're about to reach soon. Any Oh, we already did. Um, again, I want to really make sure that we've got enough cash. Let's see here. Sorry about the lack of audio there. My microphone died on me for just a sec. Hopefully that's not going to put us too far behind. Let's see, six citizens there. Sounds good. Now I know for the African Watering Hole map, we're going to find a lot of good rare resources near the coast of the little lake in the center. That having been said, that's why I built the two merchants to get us started on that. Cool, that'll max out the lumber production there.
I almost feel a little foolish for jumping so much on the research train, considering... It's not full. Oh, right. They just came out of the city. I knew I created somebody. Okay, that means they have a wonder already. Need to make sure we don't get discouraged, but we want to make sure that we get enough of those wonders on our side. Let's take a look at how our allies are doing. Okay, similar. We're maybe a little bit behind, and actually the scores show we are a little bit behind. But that's okay, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, that's good enough for that. That'll max out our farms. I want another town immediately, which means I need to get some of this research done. Okay, that caps that out. Make sure we have enough support stuffs. Granary is going to help absolutely with food. A lumber mill, absolutely with our, well, duh, lumber. Make sure we have a good workforce that way we can build another city very quickly. Okay, let's see how we're doing for research. Um, sure, let's do commerce. Let's do science, or chemistry, I guess, is that level. So, granary, temple, market. Uh, I already have a market. So, university, can't afford it yet. Uh, library, absolutely. Can't afford it now? Yes, I can. Perhaps at some future time I will design to have dealings with you. Aren't you on the other team? Wait a minute. Allied, quick to break alliance at peace. Oh, right, right, because no one can fight each other. Alright, I get it now. I was like... Pretty sure I set up custom teams that you guys hate my face. Got it. We're good. <laughs> A little slow on the uptake over here, but I got it. Okay, so we have four. That can take five. Fantastic. It's been a little bit since I played, so I have to refamiliarize myself with these hotkeys. Okay, here's the gunpowder age. We're getting very close to it. Some have already hit the third age. Thankfully, there are ones on my team. <laughs> you guys are so polite. Appreciate it. Actually, I need one of you up there. Thank you. Here, we're going to secure our holdings with our smelter. And then make sure that we come down here and ensure that our production is up to key. Up to snuff. We will also join in the medieval age. I want a third city before much else. So once these guys are done, we're going to move right to the third. We're going to put a third one back here. More lumber, some metal. That's a good supplement. A very good supplement city. Oh, very soon we're going to need to make sure we get a barracks. It's going to be very dangerous if we don't have any sort of war machines soon to be ready or ready. So we're going to do two squads right now. We have one squad of three that's going and building support structures. You guys are going to come here and make sure that our military is up and good. So there's that. Here's this. Let's get one of these guys, and then we'll build a stable. It's going to give us all the buildings we need for a military. And then we're going to take these guys over to the west and build our navy. 
But again, I don't want to delay too long. This is where this is going to get really dangerous. The second someone is working towards the gunpowder age, we need to start mass producing weapons. So let's see, who's on our team? Red, green, blue, purple. We are surrounded. We're in the southeast corner. We're going to plan to supplement blue and attack in the northwest. Or the north, anyhow. Medieval age, we're getting close. What the heck is this? Feudalism? Okay. I'm getting a little jumpy here. This is the first time I've ever played this mode before of, hey, no one shoot at nobody until everybody's ready. Get it a hundred. Actually, now that I'm really thinking about it, this isn't the way I'm used to it. There we go. Crud. I wasn't even thinking about it. No, I don't need merchants any caravans. One, two... There's the third. Shoot. My reticle's all messed up and I wasn't paying attention. Time to get a few units out. We're getting close. Getting very close. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Very legitimately getting nervous. <laughs> they don't need to be the highest of tech, but I want to make sure we have a good mix of units here. Okay, you guys are done. Time to join our brothers in the sea. We can get a lot of really good resources from a dock. Let's see, what are we lacking on? Food, lumber, kind of the whole nine yards right now. Eight, perfect. And of course, with the Watchtower also comes a very important research. Let's see here, where else are we at? Mercantilism? Absolutely. Okay, I don't see anyone jumping on Gunpowder Age yet. Let's see, where's our military? I want to have at least another dozen units before anyone really engages in the Gunpowder Age. And I'm not really planning on going any huge attack, I just want to make sure that we can defend ourselves. It's almost just as important as anything else. Okay, as mentioned, these fishermen are going to be awesome. get good food resources, you can actually get metal resources from the water. It's crazy. So let's see, what does this give us? 15 food and 12 gold. That's awesome. 12 wealth. Let's do that. I can always use more wealth, considering we were a little slow on the uptake when it came to our merchants. But there should be some whales around here too. Fish. I'm not going to spend too much time just looking for whales. Okay, the next resource I see, I'm just going to take it. Fish, good enough. Not worried. Good. Good, good. Very happy with how this is coming so far. We have three cities, some of our allies have four. It's good that our allies have more stuff than we do. It's important. But, now that we're at a certain age, it's very much time to get some of these wonders online. 
online. It's not even the gunpowder age. I'm using words like online. But whatever. It is what it is. Let's see. Oh, gunpowder. War time. I'm really half expecting for someone to just flood through the gates. Now, I need you guys over here. Come on now. There's our two. Perfect. We're a little slow on the age, but that's okay. There we go, gunpowder age. Never worry about selling and buying some resources to ensure that you have the right technology. I don't see any enemies really moving at the moment. This is all pretty standard stuff. But we are going to start moving pretty soon. Okay, we definitely need finance. So we're still sitting on our two cities. If anything, we just want to get another city down so that we can at least start accumulating more resources. Let's just go right there. You guys, metal time. Oops, that's not metal. Let's get the smelter up. Mine. 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 <laughs> Finding Nemo. One of those. Okay, enemies attacking. Time to defend our brothers in arms. Elite pikemen. Okay, so they've done enough research as well. I'm really hoping green is going to come here and help pink rebuff as we assist blue. I should really learn these guys' names. Ogendi Khan? Sure. Why not? Oh, come on. How do we do this? There we go. When you have a ton of units like this, research can be just as important as adding new units to your battalion. Absolutely. We want to make sure our stuff is up to up to key as high as we can go. And once our wagon gets up here, we can consider attacking. Let's see. That's full. That's full. Great. Very good so far. We're going to kind of play this like a turtle a little bit. We're just going to build up a ton of units on the line. And then once we're ready, we'll go in for the attack. Not hurting too bad to go in for an assault this early, though. Let's buy up some metal. Let's make sure we keep up with the research. We've already capped out on a bunch of these resources. We want to make sure we get to... What is it? Finance? Yeah, that's right. Yep. 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 And... Yep. That one's getting catapulted. 
Looks like everyone's attacking. Looks like blue is going to move up to defend its city. We're going to come here and attack orange directly. We have enough stuff. We can just assault the darn thing. Want to take care of this keep, and then we'll go and attack the city directly. Okay, we have resources. Let's see here. We still want finance. Where are we here? 900. Erg. Get some units queued up. Very good. Get up there, please. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. If we can disrupt one of these cities and really change the attrition value of what's going on here, this would be a great help. Still got a, a sizable army. We're not talking massive by any stretch of the imagination here. But enough to get us started. Let's see. Let's get the basics down, make sure that this city has something to work with. All the structures that's going to help every city. Uh, this one? Nope. Uh, let's just go right to Lumbermill. Cool. Now that we have this city, we're going to go ahead and start. Yeah, going to go ahead and start raising buildings. Um, we don't want to keep this city. We don't really plan to keep it. Um, so by raising some of these key structures, we get a little kickback in resources. And if they're to uh, take the city back. It ensures that they don't have those resources to work with or those structures to work with anymore. So this is kind of a rude thing to do, but it kind of ensures that, you know, we can let them take it back. We almost don't care because we'll be burning the place to the ground. There's that one. And that one. Yeah, it, it literally it's free resources for us. That's really what it is. And we will also follow suit with the Enlightenment Age really, really need finance. I, I can't not get it next time. Okay, our enemy, our allies, or our, our attack is coming up. That's what I mean to say. It's probably not enough to really fight back this army. And we can start raising it. That's cool. Finance, thank goodness, we're actually producing proper, or at least we'll be maintaining our cap where we're at. Alright, we need to retreat. This isn't working. Caused enough of a disruption though, I think, that it paid off. Man, lumber, come on, man. The one thing that can get kind of dangerous is if you're low on any specific resource that you just mass produce like one kind of unit. That that can become a real big of a problem um, because one kind of unit can easily be countered by another kind of unit. That's where this kind of gets tricky. Okay, the oceans have been good to us. No one's been coming in, causing any problems. That's been good. Okay, purple and green. Looks like they're holding the front all right. I wouldn't bank a whole ton of cash on them, though. Okay, producing good units. We have all three of our structures, hopefully streamlining units. I think this one might not be. Yeah, because uh, lumber, that's why. 83, 82%, those are absolutely terrible. We need to make sure that we get the next level up for commercial, which is assembly line. Uh, we're going to have to kind of patiently wait until our knowledge beefs back up. Um, this is one of the reasons why I really enjoy being the Greeks, is because it's a lot easier to get your knowledge up faster. Um, but we've been really hungry with our resources and what we've been using them for, so... Music's nice in this one, too. Okay, we have enough to at least act as a reinforcement party. We won't be attacking again until we have much more, much more. Many more guys. Here's what we're going to do. Follow that. Uh, the cool thing is right-clicking on a unit that's in a control group. Um, when you are 
highlighting a barracks or any production facility, they will go immediately to that control group. It's really nice. So let's see, we have enough food and lumber at the moment. Building more facilities won't help. Until now, assembly line. Let's see where that gets us. Let's see, what are we missing here? A market? We are. Uh, let's see, granary, lumber mill. Um, there's no point in building a smeltery considering that's already consumed by those jerks. And what I have four? Cool, that'll top that off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Now, I know I completely forgot about my merchants. So it might not be a bad idea to revisit that in a second. Get the spy. Oh. Okay. There he is. Okay, that ability doesn't reveal her. That's lame. I see you, you freaking jerk. Alright, here's what I want out of you guys. We're going to keep this a little close. Fortress. That's going to give us some new tech and some great units to work with. Let's go ahead and armor up here. Farm. 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 And now the one thing we've really... Oh, wait. What did I just do? Farm. The one thing we've really been waiting on this whole time and not doing a darn thing about... Wonders. We are well enough ahead. It's time to get some wonders. Let's see here. My metal collection rate is poor. We're going to go with Angor Watt. The AI doesn't really do a good job when it comes to creating a bunch of wonders. So it's our turn to start kicking that up. Now where is my... Yes, here it is. First of all. So many things require research. We're gonna get globalization before we get anything else. I think that's really funny. Very good. Very good. This lumber's killing me, I swear. And it's expensive. Even the global market's having a hard time with it. Let's see, next is the industrial age, yep. Oh, that's going to unlock a whole ton of new units. New researches, a bunch of fun stuff. Playing the support role at the moment. Just want to make sure blue is okay. We'll get a few wonders. We're still cranking out units. Like, we're still really stockpiling troops here. Trying to keep up with the research. Uh, let's go ahead and, now that I'm saying that, let's go ahead and get up to date completely. So as we're keeping up with the research, we're also producing a few units here and there. Want to make sure that we don't ever fall backwards in the arms race. The fact that it auto-zooms in like that drives me crazy. Okay, time to retaliate. At a minimum, we need to ensure that they realize that they're going to bite off a lot more than they can chew. That spy just keeps stealing my dudes. So I need a spy, I need some generals, I need a bunch of stuff to really start countering that out. Generals. Good for wealth. You take them in combat, and what effectively turns into that is you bribe them back to the enemy line. So that's how you get the cash out of it. Okay, let's make sure we capture their produ or destroy their production structures. Let's see what else can we get. Let's get the industrial age, absolutely. Let's get all these other researches that we've been sitting on. Yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys, hang on. 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. So one problem I really have with the military intelligence in this game is just they just go crazy. Especially with the horses, they just jump right in like nobody's business. Okay, everyone over here. Next wonder. Uh, Kremlin would be really cool. Increases all my caps. Free spy. Better attrition, I think. Yep, more attrition. Uh, porcelain tower would be cool. Give us an extra resource bump. But we're on a good path right now. I'm happy with where we're at. Okay, again, everyone. Come on, we're trying to be turtles here. Uh, I don't know what sound a turtle makes, but stop doing what you're doing. Quick shoot through research. I don't need any more lumber. That's kind of the problem. So I think what we will do is we'll go for the Kremlin. Could easily dump it behind this fortress. So let's go ahead and make room for it. Oh, I need freaking lumber. Dink and dink. Not enough metal. Great. Do I have enough metal now? Okay, what does the Kremlin require? A bunch of stuff. Alright. Let's at least get in allied territory. Now you can defend the homeland. Okay, here's what we're going to do instead of the Kremlin. Time for oil. Oil. And... Uh, where to go? Oil. This game has so many elements, the micromanagement levels itself is a lot to handle. No joke. Let's see. Oil well. Oil well. That's a good start on that resource. Then I want you to come back here. I'm starting to run low on troops. I would expect that if you had a timer and you said, like, first to Enlightenment Age, it would be absolutely crazy. I mean, this has been fairly fast-paced now. The extra resources have really helped jumpstart the game. I, oh, my goodness. I don't even have words. <laughs> That's how good this is. <laughs> okay, close. Uh, close, actually. Let's do that and that. We're looking for 960 here. There it is. Oops. Dang it. There it is. We should really be able to get to the point where we could just storm these guys. But that's been a little bit of a hit miss considering they've been jumping and attacking, we've been counterattacking. Yeah, tons of these things. And the upgrade to go with it. Okay, if we complete the Kremlin, that's going to give us how many points, it doesn't say? Four points. It's going to get us easily in the lead with three to spare. I'm not going to defend that, considering these guys aren't attacking all that smart. They don't have enough to put up a good, a good assault. It looks like they just might, so why don't we join them? We really need to start concentrating on not just disrupting them, we need to just devastate them. Like, the thing is, we're producing almost as quickly as we possibly can, so it's not like we need more factories or more barracks. Maybe if we build these closer to the front line, maybe? But, I mean, there's not really too much more I could do about... See, now they're retreating. See, this is what stinks. Now my guys are left to hang.
Okay, need to do a little bit of micromanagement here so that we can ensure the heavy threats are destroyed. And I think we may actually have enough troops to push this through, which is excellent. Um, I definitely need some anti-air. Okay, that's being created. Good. I've noticed that this game has less of an emphasis on huge upfront attacks, but the way in which AI really takes is it's most a uh, slow stream kind of a stuff. You know, we're just we're slow pushing in, hoping that we take the advantage. Reduced, come back. All of you, we need to deal with this threat here. Yeah, hopefully we can start pushing on some of these other cities, but as I said before, raising these farm bits have really paid off because they've had to rebuild them. A little kickback in food, not too bad. Uh, time for the modern age, fantastic. Better research. All this stuff doesn't really help because it improves food and wood production, and we've got more than enough of that stuff to last us for a while. Uh, let's go ahead, two more generals, considering the generals allow a little bit better shielding. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap that. We're gonna move, uh, we're gonna move back a little bit. Back in friendly territory, they can go ahead and take it if they want, but we have our anti-air guns that should start doing some work around here. Aha! Kremlin completed. Excellent, look at that. Now we're producing full amounts. That's great. And a free spy comes with. Fantastic. Napoleon of the French is making the Taj Mahal. Uh, Emperor Napoleon's on the enemy side, which is fine. We have more than enough wonders to do us well. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, that's maxed out. That's maxed out. Time for another city. Uh, since cities produce on their own, it doesn't hurt to have a few extra, even if there's not a whole lot of specialty resources to, to really say about it. Probably going to want about another dozen units, and then we can actually start seriously attacking these guys. Okay, time for another wonder. Oh man, these are all getting very expensive. Uh, Temple of Tikal. Uh, lumber rate increase. Raises your resource cap. Oh, that would be worth it. Let's just get this bumped up. Get this party started. And then, of course, I always build at least one or two air defense around my wonders because that's always, if the enemy's going to attack it, the AI, I mean, always that's how they're going to do it. Just a couple of fighters, maybe a bomber or two, but that's more than enough to drive down the hit points of your structure. I don't know about you, but I like to keep my wonders exactly where they are, in one piece. Looks like purple's being overcome. I really hope green pays attention and helps out, or this could be really problematic. Man. I 
The temple's not going to be enough for us to win. It only provides two wonder points. It's going to put us at seven. But I'm not really anticipating for us to win by wonders, but I want to make sure we definitely stay on, stay on top of those. Almost nothing's worse than losing to a wonder loss. Oh, gosh darn it. Um, at least against humans, because if you couldn't spend at least a few resources to really, you know, keep up with that, that gets kind of sad considering all the benefits they provide. Um, let's see, this one's producing a bunch more lumber for us. That's absolutely fantastic. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Let's get our four caravans back. Let's get you generals up front. Let's get you guys back in some kind of a formation. You guys always get out of some formation. It drives me crazy. Why don't you come over here? Let's do trench. Okay, the enemy's completed Versailles. Still keeps us ahead on the wonder battle, but not by much. Okay, can I kill that guy? Thank you. Holy cow, that took forever. Power, nation in arms, globalization, computerization. We're going to get tons of these resources, or at least these researches, well before I believe the AI is capable of doing so themselves. Six, seven, there we go. The problem is the longer we wait here, the bigger the push these guys are doing on this other side. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a military base right outside the outskirts of blue. Here's what I want. Readout, which is the fortress of this era. A barracks. An auto plant. And I want two air bases. This is what's going to do it for us. Production right at the line, being able to push and respond faster. This is exactly what we're going to have to do. Now, they complete the Taj Mahal. Now, they're ahead in the Wonder Points. Yellow is the Eiffel Tower, which means once that's complete, they will be winning by a Wonder Victory. Exactly the thing I said I did not want to happen is what's going to happen. So, we're going to have to complete either the Space Program or the Super Collider. Grudge. <laughs> this has been tough. I don't know if I'll win this one, to be honest. Okay, time to get all of our resource addition structures ready to go meaning all the things that could provide us a little bit of production. That's exactly what we need right now. All right, time to push. We don't have a ton of stuff, but we at least got to start messing with their forces. Those air raid sirens do not make me feel happy. <laughs> okay, the super collider is going to have to be constructed on my terms. Considering I don't see any of my AI brethren building up any. Um, I can't even think. Okay. We have all the technology, which means we now get to produce one Ultra Tech. Which we're definitely going to have to do. Okay, come back here.
And looks like Julius Caesar's going to fall. Cruel irony, I guess. I want the Super Collider. And we can build it. All those frickin' fighters. Okay, <laughs> there, there we go. I need six minutes to build the Super Collider. How much does the Super Collider provide? Eight? If we built the Super Collider and the space program, that would not be enough for a Wonder Victory. It's already too late. Which is sucks, but, I mean, that's what it is. Okay. We're up close. Our units will produce much faster now. Okay. Tons. Go. Go. Uh, helicopters. Now, what I really need is artificial intelligence at this point. 4,400 just means I gotta wait a bunch for more research. Oof. Okay, we have a ton of units ready to go, being mass produced for that. Let's do two SAM installations. There we go. And then let's mosey on back. Okay, tons of units produced right at the front line. Now it's time for us to push absolutely as hard as we can because we need to push on the other side as well. We, is this captured? Are we capturing this? What's going on here? Thank you. Move on. Now the even bigger problem we have to worry about is the assault from the west. More importantly, what's going to happen is even if we build the super collider quickly enough, the even more pressing issue is the enemy is going to be. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. 3,000. Bam! Crap, I need the super collider. Alright, anyways, I was saying the enemy is going to be able to capture all the wonders of the other nations. That's a huge problem, because there's no way I'm going to be able to upkeep the wonder victory just by myself. But I'm going to do my best. Okay, we have a bunch of units producing there. I just need the super collider ready, and I might stand a chance. Uh, Julius Caesar's gone, that's for sure. And maybe I'll be able to catch up with the space program. But I need both the space program and the super collider in order to win this. I'm gonna have to let him run through all of my infantry to come, or all my allies to come to me, which definitely sucks, but there's not a thing I can do right now. Yes, Super Collider, which means artificial intelligence, which means I can crank out as many freaking units as I want. Yeah, sorry, Julius. Oh, yeah, maximum population is gonna be reached a lot. I need a crap ton of money. And what else? Knowledge. 3,680. Come on. I doubt I'm going to make it, but I need to try. Okay, got the forces. Time to assist. So it looks like they're just going to destroy the wonders, which is almost okay. That means they're not capturing them. That would be the worst right now. Oh man, artificial intelligence is so freaking sweet.
Alright. Need to back up. Oh, freaking that thing. Okay. The trick is <laughs> here's what we're at right now. If they build the space center, which they will, just scrap that. I'm gonna lose a wonder, a wonder victory. They'll have it. So I need to do this by military force. Wonder timer of oh four minutes. Oh crap. Okay, time to push again. Is there a wonder anywhere close I can just stomp on? No, they have missiles and all kinds of crap. Airports, gotta go. I'm getting so sick of these freaking things. Yep, I think they have this front. Gosh, those freaking names are driving me crazy. You know what? I'm glad that I got this recorded because this is absolutely nuts. <laughs> yep, I'm just gonna get artillery to death. I wish there was some kind of wonder here that I could just ruin and get it under 10, but. All those freaking fighters, that's nuts. And I lost the southern front. Look at that. Can I build a nuke? Uh, that would be awesome. I won't win doing it, but that would be just awesome. Uh, cruise missile? Nope, nuke missile. Nuke ready. Come on, where is it? Um, it wasn't nearly as devastating as I would have liked that to be. Let's try that again. Faboosh. All right. That sends the herd significantly, I'd say. Okay. Nuclear embargo. Ah, because I didn't build the space program. Right. it again. Oh, nope, because I can't build any more, um, I can't buy oil. Shoot. Well, suck out a V2. <laughs> uh, That's the first time I've lost in a long time. And by a wonder victory, too. Oh, okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. Yeah, this just turned into a steam engine way too fast. 
And that's really the thing. When you choose a map like this, I mean, it can only really go one way or another. I could have said, like, yeah, if I had another five minutes, I would have been able to push harder this way, but the enemy was just faster. That's really all there is to it. So let's go ahead and check out the achievements. Let's see exactly how quickly they were. Okay. I was the MVP. I lasted the longest. Makes sense. Let's see here. All across the board, territory, city, economy. Let's see, what is this a total of? Uh, come on. It's just economy scores 5%. I'm not reading all that. Okay, so they got me an economy as well. Uh, killed the most units. I think I almost lost the most units. <laughs> uh, man, so much good statistics here. Are so many good statistics? No, so much good statistics. We'll keep it that. Um, yeah, best economy based on what was collected, but they just used their stuff a little smarter. Um, we were the first to Classical Age, then Information Age was the closest we were. We were ahead by a whole three minutes there, two, three minutes, which, I mean, didn't really pay off. It's good when it's spread like this, showing, I mean, it's not just a one-sided pushover. Uh, glory. Not really too sure what to do about all this. Most wonders held, forts built, units bribed. Yeah, this freaking jerk was... No, it wasn't him. It was this jerk face bribing me like crazy. Uh, speed is only a human score. Uh, shows how many clicks and how fast a human is. Um, so, I mean, all this, all these graphs are real nice and stuff. But, all in all, we did lose. No big deal. Um, that's going to happen. You can't win every single game, and if you do, it just gets boring. But against a couple of toughs, I think this was worthwhile. So that having been said, thanks again for watching, guys. Really appreciate the views, the feedback. If you want to see me play anything or want to see me try something new, feel free to let me know. I'm always happy to try it. I'll catch you next time. Later.